Welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about transparency and the alpha channel in GIMP. So transparency lets us erase and not see any pixels, not white, not black, just a clear transparent pixel. So if we want to do that now, we've learned in the past, if we clicked on the erase tool and we left click and hold, it will erase parts of our image. Well, right now, this image does not have an alpha channel which means it's only going to do solid pixels or solid, uh, yeah, well, solid pixels. Even white is a solid pixel. What I mean by that is if, we're, if we were to erase this corner right here and then export this image, we would see it just like we do now. So this part that we erased wouldn't be clear. It wouldn't be like glass, like showing through to what's behind it. Like it would be, I downloaded the GIMP icon right here. So the GIMP icon has transparency. We can tell that because it has this checker pattern. This is sort of the, the way that you can see if something is transparent or not. So this is telling us everywhere where we can see a pixel, where we can see a color, or we can see the outline of this, we know that, that the actual image is there. But everywhere where it shows these squares, this checker pattern, that's basically clear or glass or transparency. And that's why when we zoom in here to this actual icon, we, are, we look at it on the desktop and we see as we move it around, see it, we can see it, it's green background over here now. And over here, we can, if we drag it over top of another icon, it's transparent. So this real image is actually a complete square image like this, but we're only seeing this shape. And a lot of times people get confused when they're first starting out with GIMP because they want to create a circle or something. Well, that's how you do it is you have to have transparency. So to get transparency, right now we're erasing, but we're getting white. We might as well be just draw, like painting white on top of this. It's kind of the same as erasing through to white. It's kind of hard to tell a difference. So I'm going to hit Control Z a couple times. To add an alpha channel, we can look over here. Sometimes you can have a, a, a separate background alpha. But the easiest way to do this is to just come over here in this area and right click and then go down to Add Alpha Channel. And what that's going to do, we don't notice any changes right away, but when we try to erase now, we see it's not white. We see we're erasing true into that true transparency. I can erase parts of my face. I can erase whatever I want. Um, so let's try and do some erasing here real quick. Let me make my brush a little bit larger. And I'm just going to erase kind of quickly some of the background here. It looks like I got part of myself, but that's okay. And I'll go File export because I want to show you when you're exporting with transparency it's also important that you save the file as a PNG and not a JPEG a JPG file if we did a JPG uh, I'll just show you what will happen so we have test.jpg we'll export that to the desktop and we'll go and take a look at it and see what this looks like so it did not do it still showed it as white so this looks different than what, what we had. We thought we were going to have transparency there, but really it showed up as white in our photo viewer. And more importantly, on the desktop, when we try to zoom in and do what we did with the GIMP icon, we can't do it with this one. We just see these white corners. So let's go back and let's do it the right way, which is to go to File, and we go to Export As, and then we change these last three letters to PNG. It's just a different file format. It processes the image different, and PNG supports transparent background. There are versions of, there's ways you can have a transparent background with a JPEG, but the best thing to do is just always get in the habit of exporting in a PNG file. Notice it's taking a little bit longer to export. Let's take a look here and see some of the differences between these two. So now we see this one is looking kind of weird. I can zoom in a little bit. It's going to get a little bit grainy, but we see this image doesn't have that white. It's sort of strange, sort of a strange image to, to make. But that's the difference between the two. We have a JPG and a PNG. And let's right click and go to, uh, I'll go to properties on this one. This one is 348 uh, kilobytes. This one, if we right click and go to properties, this one is two megabytes. So the JPEG is going to be is going to be smaller because it doesn't have as much detail. It's just white. And then this one has the transparency, but it also processes the, processes the pixels a little bit differently. So this one's about five times larger than this than the same image. And there's ways we can optimize that uh, as well. But just be aware when you're working in transparency, when you add an alpha channel to an image, it is going to increase the size. 
Okay, let's go to, um, let's look at another way that we could get an image. If we erase, uh, we close out of this. If we want to start, we go to File, New. We want to create a document with a transparent background to start with. Well, if we go 1920 by 1080 and we go OK, it creates, oh, this one did it for us, but that's because I was playing with it earlier. For you, go to Advanced Options. This option here is usually set to Fill with Background Color. And when you do that, it whatever your background color is, in this case it's white for us, it's this color right over here, whatever is selected there when you create the new document, it's going to create that as your background color. It assumes you, you're working with a blank white canvas and you want to create art on top of that white canvas or blue or red or whatever color you have selected there. But if you want to create something like a logo, like the GIMP icon, or you want to create something for a website, it's a very good idea to have transparency, uh, if, especially if you want to create some contour and some shape besides a rectangle uh, or a square. So to do that, we go File, New, and then we click here under Advanced Options, and then under the Fill With, we just say Fill With Transparency, and that'll automatically give us a uh, transparent background and automatically add an alpha channel in there. Uh, and so now we have a background here. Something people will do is they'll have a canvas like this. They'll set up a blank background and then they'll right click over here and go new layer and they'll have their second layer and they'll call this, I don't know, whatever, whatever they're drawing, they'll call it something over here and then they'll go. And then you can also choose when you're creating a layer to fill it with transparency or with white or with a specific pattern or with the background color, foreground color, but maybe you'll say fill it with white. And then what you have is you still have a white canvas. You can still draw on here. Well, that's big. You can still draw and do whatever you wanted to. But then when you want to erase, you'll still be able to erase if you wanted to. You could erase some of that white canvas to reveal the true transparency behind it. Um, so again, real quick recap. If we were to open up a just an image from the desktop, we grab an image here. We want to work with it. We don't have... Uh, transparency by default. So when we try to erase, it erases into white. If we want to have transparency there, you can also convert to, if, if you accidentally uh, you started erasing and you, you forgot and realized, oh, I wanted all this stuff to be transparent and you don't want to have to undo and add, add transparency because if we add transparency now, uh, it's going to just be, we, now when we click, it's going to be it, but the stuff we already did isn't happening or isn't transparent. So one thing you can do is you can go up to colors and then you go down to color to alpha. We want to, we don't want to do it just yet because we need to select just a certain color. So we could use like the magic wand selection. We could select this, hold down shift and select both of these. And then we can go to colors and go to color to alpha. And what that'll do is turn everything within that selected area and that is this specific color, uh, it turns it to alpha. Um, so that adds it in there, and that's kind of a way to do it. We could shrink and, and grow that and maybe do that a little bit differently. So that's just a quick look at transparency and alpha. We're going to be using it more in future tutorials. So I wanted to give a quick introduction, let you play with it a little bit, and mostly learn how you can get an alpha channel or how you can start working with transparency in GIMP. So hopefully you found that informative. Leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I'll catch you in the next video.